Welcome to Chaos Cortex. Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to create a 3D printed pixel fire flower from Mario. And I believe this one's from um, Super Mario World. And the fun thing about this is I've attached a magnet on the back so I can stick it on the fridge. Um, and you can also put other things on here like a little pin so you could uh, put it like on a kid's backpack or some, attach it to clothing of some sort. Um, and really anything. It's got a flat surface on the back so you can just attach away, glue it, and be good to go. So, and we actually painted this. So let's take a look at how I created this. So here we have the fire flower um, 3D printed, but I'm an idiot and forgot to record this printing, so I don't have any footage of that. Um, but you probably wouldn't be able to see it very much anyways, um, since it is black filament. Actually, it's pretty hard to see there, but if I adjust it just right, you can kind of see the details. Um, they'll become much more apparent once I paint it. So, um, speaking of that, I am going to give painting a try. So. That should be interesting. Let's see how it turns out. My first step is to clean it up. So how we'll do that is just with some sandpaper. You could probably also use some files, um, whatever works. Just try to make it um, a little bit smoother so the paint will go on and won't show the lines as much. Okay, so there you can see it is um, sanded down on the top. I left the black areas around the side as is because they'll stay black. Um, but it is now smooth to the touch. feels really nice. So the next step is to paint. And uh, this is going to be interesting because I'm pretty bad at this. So this will definitely be a learning experience. And I'm not promising how good this is going to turn out. Okay, and I am going to go with these acrylic paints right here. I've got an orange yellow, which will be the top of the fire flower. And then this one is leaf green for the leaves. So that should work out pretty good. It turned out too bad actually for my first time painting anything like this um yeah not too bad I'm pretty happy with it so if i can paint this you can too um just get a tiny paintbrush some acrylic paints and yeah, just glob it on there obviously the 
the more you put on, the better it'll like cover the layers and stuff like that. And if you're better than me at this, um, you could even work in some of the shading like they have in the game. But for me, I think this works. Then I've got this little circular magnet here, but really any magnet would work since we're just gluing it on the back. And then I've got some crazy glue. Um, this isn't the best option for gluing 3D prints, but it'll work. So if you have any other types of glue or anything like that, um, you know, experiment with them. Try it out. So what I'm going to do, carefully flip that over. And then I'm going to put some crazy glue on this magnet. Just smear it around a bit. And then, just going to plop it right on there. Okay, so we'll just let that dry and then we'll come back when it's done. Alright guys, so here is the finished product. And it looks pretty good. I didn't do too bad painting for my first time painting a um, 3D printed object with a brush. So, I'm pretty proud of it. Um, and then, of course, I've got a metal caliper here, and boom, magnetic. So I'll probably either stick this on our fridge, or um, I think my little uh, electronic parts kit has metal sides, so maybe I'll put it on there. Well, I hope you guys liked this. Um, I do have the files for this up on Thingiverse, Umagine, and Pinshape. So go check those out if you'd like to download one of these for yourself. Um, and then I just use normal hobby acrylic paint to paint this, so you can find that at your local hobby store. And also, if you thought this was cool, be sure to subscribe because um, I've got another video coming out next week where I make a thwomp. So that should be pretty fun. Well, that's it for me, YouTube. Till next time. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video. It helps me out a lot. You can also follow me on Twitter. I'm at ChaosCoreTech. And once you've done all that, check out some of these other videos I've made. Thanks for watching, guys.